the last part of this page that we need to create is our footer section that we see all the way in the bottom. This consists of four columns with links and in the last column we have the address. And then in the bottom we have some copyright information and the link. Let's go ahead and build this. After our aside element we create the footer element. Then we start creating the four columns. First we create an H6 heading element and give it the text quick links. Then we create an unordered list that we want to be unstyled so we use the class list unstyled. Inside this we place our list items and we wrap these in anchor tags like so and we'll give the first list item the text home. We'll duplicate this four times and I'll just change the text accordingly. Great. Now we'll copy the unordered list and the heading and paste it in two more times and I'll just update the text again. Finally, we need one more column. Once again, we use the H6 heading element and the text contact us. Then instead of an unordered list, we now use the address element. And first we want to make the block name appear with strong styling, which is the font weight bold. And then we create a line break with the br tag and we add the street name, create one more line break with the br tag and then the zip code and city. One more line break with the br tag and then we want to add the telephone number. We will abbreviate the telephone number so we use the abbreviate element abbr and we add a title attribute with the value being the word that is abbreviated. So in this case, telephone. And then the text content of the element will be T colon. And then we wrap our telephone number in an anchor tag. And in the href attribute, we first add the value tell colon so this phone number can be dialed directly from a smartphone and other devices and then we add our number and then as the text content we add the same number just formatted in a more human friendly way for example like this we do something similar for the mail address. So we use the abbreviation element ABBR with the title attribute with the value being the abbreviated word. So in this case, mail and then an M. And then we add the mail in an anchor tag and we start the value in the href attribute with the word mail to and then a colon. This will make the links open up the default 
email software on the computer or smartphone when the user click the link. Now we add the link or the email address like so and then we write it again as the text content of our anchor tag like this and we close our anchor tag again. This was the address and now we will create the final line with the copyright information. This is actually also a list, an unordered list, but we'll give it the class list inline to make it appear inline. Then we will add a list item with the class list inline item. First, we'll create the HTML entity for the copyright symbol, which is the ampersand, copy, and semicolon, and then 2017 block name. We'll create one more list item with the class list inline item and the text all rights reserved. And we'll create a final list item with the class list inline item and then an anchor tag. And inside this anchor tag, we add the text terms of use and privacy policy. Let's now view this in the browser. We select the right tab refresh the paste and scroll down here we see that we have all of our different columns with the links and the address and finally the copyright information we'll turn these into actual columns later on when we start working on the responsive adjustments